County Waterford. Thanks to Pat Phelan for bringing us here. I'm surrounded by mountains and can you hear the sheep, the sound of sheep? It's beautiful and there's Mahon Falls in front of me and behind me you can see the rolling hills and down beyond it the sea. We are going to tell you the story of our Peace Festival events this year as well as a little reflection on what we have been doing in the past years. This year, our World Peace Festival, it's a week-long festival, and it will be launched in Cork City on the 14th of September. Building on last year's success, Our Lady Crown Parish will have another spectacular way of celebrating World Peace Day. And this They are going to lead us. Blue Atlantic Ocean, the waves they crash and the thunder rolls. I hear the voice a gently calling for to guide her weary soul. On Friday, the 19th of September, Gory Little Theatre will host Four Seasons A Peace concert. It's going to be a really fantastic concert because it's going to be produced by four young and new producers, each concentrating on a particular season to cover the Four Seasons of Peace. To guide me inward. The following day, the 20th of September, which is a Saturday, we will be hosting Ireland's first International Youth Peace Conference, wherein students and young people from different parts of the world and students and young people from different parts of Ireland will come together and reflect together for a whole day on the importance of peace and the challenges that young people can face up to in order to contribute to world peace. So Sunday, the 21st of September, is the day, is the end of the 100-day countdown. It's the big day that more than 100 million people from more than 100 countries are celebrating as a peace day. But it's also a day to remember those who have sacrificed their lives for peace in the world. And most of all, it is a day to think of the people, to pray for the people who are suffering in places where there is war, where there is major conflict, and even people who are suffering conflicts within their own homes, within their own relationships. It is a day that we all can come together, regardless of what faith background we have, what beliefs we have, it's a day that belongs to all of us. And for us, Instruments of Peace, what we are doing on that day is a very beautiful opportunity that is given to us by RTE1. We will be producing World Peace Mass and it will be streamed live globally so that we can connect with people in different parts of the world and we hope to be able to reach out to as many people who are in very troubled areas through our peace mass. Through the wilds of 
western shores We'll be here Candle waiting For the winds To take us forth And by the way, if you thought I missed out something, yes, that's true. The days between Monday and Friday, the 15th to the 18th of September, that's filled with events organized locally by people in different parts of Ireland, north, east, west and south. For example, there is a school that's organizing a peace mass for the opening of the school year. There's going to be concerts, like a rock concert in Belfast possibly, and another concert in Dublin, or a concert in Cork, or in a prayer meeting in the West, in County Mayo. So there's going to be a lot of events that will be developed throughout this 100-day countdown to Peace Day. Thank you. The blue Atlantic Ocean, the waves they crash and the thunder rolls. I hear the voice a gently calling for to guide.